his heart raced as she walked through the iron gates of the old cemetery. The moon cast an eerie glow on the weathered gravestones, and the wind whispered secrets through the ancient trees. She had always been drawn to the mysterious, but tonight, her curiosity had led her to a place that sent shivers down her spine. Amelia's flashlight flickered as she ventured deeper into the graveyard. She had heard tales of this place, stories of restless spirits and ghostly apparitions. Yet, she had dismissed them as mere legends, until now. Every crunch of leaves beneath her feet echoed like a distant cry, making her steps falter. In the distance, a mausoleum stood, its stone facade a looming silhouette against the night sky. Amelia's light danced over the engraved names of the departed, their existence now reduced to cold letters etched in stone. She couldn't shake off the feeling that she was being watched, that unseen eyes followed her every move. As she approached the mausoleum, a soft rustling sound echoed from within. Her heart pounded in her chest, drowning out the distant hum of the city. Swallowing her fear, Amelia pushed open the heavy door. The air was thick with the musty scent of decay and dampness. The feeble light of her flashlight revealed rows of coffins lining the walls, a macabre display of the dead. Amelia's light flickered again, casting eerie shadows that seemed to dance on the walls. She strained to hear another sound something beyond the deafening silence that enveloped her. And then, she heard it, a whisper, faint and almost indiscernible. Help me, the voice murmured, as if carried by the wind itself. A chill ran down Amelia's spine as she followed the sound, her steps faltering as she approached a corner of the mausoleum. There, a single coffin lay open, its lid resting against the wall. Inside, a figure lay shrouded in tattered garments. Amelia's heart raced as she realized the figure was moving, its eyes fixed on her. Who are you? Amelia's voice quivered as she asked the question, her fear battling with a surge of empathy. The figure's lips curled into a sad smile, revealing decaying teeth. I am one forgotten by time, lost in the shadows, the voice whispered. I am trapped, yearning for release. Amelia's breath caught in her throat. The figure's words sent a jolt of terror through her, yet she couldn't tear her gaze away from those desperate eyes. Help me find peace, the figure implored, its voice growing stronger. Only you can set me free. A surge of courage overcame Amelia's fear. How can I help you, she asked, her voice trembling. The figure's hand extended from the coffin, skeletal fingers pointing towards a small alcove on the wall. There, a dusty old journal lay amidst forgotten trinkets. Amelia retrieved the journal and opened it, her flashlight revealing handwritten pages filled with sorrowful confessions and pleas for salvation. You must read my story aloud, the figure instructed, its voice now urgent. Amelia's heart pounded as she began to read the words on the page. The air grew heavy, and a cold wind swept through the mausoleum, extinguishing her flashlight. But Amelia's voice persisted, carrying the words of anguish and longing out into the night. As the final words left her lips, the mausoleum trembled, and a blinding light enveloped everything. When the light subsided, the coffin lay empty, the figure nowhere to be seen. Amelia stumbled back, her mind reeling from the surreal experience. 
The cemetery was now quiet, the wind still, as if the very night held its breath. She realized that the whispering shadows had faded, replaced by an eerie calm. Amelia made her way out of the mausoleum, her steps heavy with the weight of the encounter. As she passed through the cemetery gates, she looked back one last time. The moon emerged from behind the clouds, casting an ethereal glow on the gravestones. And in that moment, Amelia felt a sense of closure, as if she had released something long trapped in the depths of darkness. From that night on, whenever she walked past the cemetery, Amelia couldn't help but remember the chilling whispers in the haunting figure that had reached out from the shadows. The experience had forever changed her, a reminder that the boundary between the living and the departed was sometimes thinner than one could imagine.